In all of our lives, there's one date that sticks out. For the millennium generation, it was 9-11. For my generation, it was December 7th, 1941. We call it Pearl Harbor Day. My mother said when we heard of the invasion of Pearl Harbor, she said, America is at war. I want you to serve your country. Anyone can do what they want to do, and that they shouldn't believe that it's only for a certain group of people, this and that. And all they need to do is to make up their minds and go after it. We was a Tuskegee Airmen. We were, we were to go to Japan for a cleanup, and we decided we didn't want to go there for a cleanup. He said if we could pass the tests up there, we could be a mechanic. I was, uh, at that time, I was about 19, I think. We can tell my grandkids, we, they can tell their kids that he stood up at a time and said, I joined the military so that I could better myself, better my family. This home will represent men who fought for America's freedom in a different way, at a time when America on the homeland didn't always give them the credit that they deserved. Today they will receive some of that credit. And the Veterans Land Board unanimously could not be more proud to name the 10th home, the Tuskegee Airmen of Texas State Veterans Home. naming of a veterans facility in the name of the Tuskegee Airmen gives me the wow factor. That symbolizes the struggle we went through. And to have this fantastic facility in Texas just overwhelms me. Thank you, State of Texas, on behalf of all Tuskegee Airmen. It is done in a true Texas fashion. One of a kind.